This video will guide you through the preparation of latte art simple patterns with your new Nespresso Virtuo Creatista machine. Fill the water tank with fresh potable water up to the max level and replace it back onto the machine. Press the coffee button to turn the machine on. Adjust the height position of the cup support. Pour the milk of your choice into the milk jug. Please refer to the recipe suggestions video for the ideal amount. For an ideal milk froth, we recommend the use of semi-skimmed pasteurized milk at fridge temperature. Do not exceed the max line. Lift up the steam wand and insert the milk jug. Make sure the milk jug is positioned in the drip tray recess. To create a tulip on a flat white recipe, select the milk temperature level to the first position and the milk texture level to the first position. Then, press the steam button to start frothing. While the milk is frothing, unlock and open the machine head. Insert a coffee capsule, close and lock the machine head. Place a cup of sufficient capacity under the coffee outlet and press the coffee button twice for a shortened milk-friendly extraction that is ideal for creating latte art. Once brewing is completed, remove the cup. Then, remove the milk jug from the machine once milk texturing is finished. Wipe the steam wand with a soft, damp cloth. The machine will automatically purge the steam wand once it returns to its downward position. Then, slowly start pouring the milk in the middle of the cup from a rather elevated position. When the cup is three quarters full, stop pouring the milk. Bring the milk jug closer and place a first circle in the middle. Place a second one next to the first one. When placing a third one, continue your movement with a line across the three circles to create a beautiful tulip. Enjoy! To create a heart on your cappuccino recipe, select the milk temperature level to the second position and the milk texture level to the second position. Then press the steam button to start frothing. While the milk is frothing, unlock and open the machine head. Insert a coffee capsule, close and lock the machine head. Place a cup of sufficient capacity under the coffee outlet and press the coffee button twice for a shortened, milk-friendly extraction that is ideal for creating latte art. Once brewing is completed, remove the cup. Then remove the milk jug from the machine once milk texturing is finished. Wipe the steam wand with a soft, damp cloth. The machine will automatically purge the steam wand once it returns to its downward position. First, sprinkle cappuccino with chocolate powder. Then, slowly start pouring the milk in the middle of the cup from a rather elevated position. While pouring, swing your hand in circles and pour toward the center of the cup. As the cup starts to fill, tilt the cup more upright. Then bring the tip of the jug close to the surface of the milk, almost touching it. At this point, a white dot will start to appear. Then pour through the dot, lifting the jug to finish. Enjoy! Unlock the machine head, open it and let the capsule be ejected. Then close the machine head. And don't forget, practice makes perfect. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit Nespresso.com.